Today's question is how to use system design concepts to make projects. I think a better question would be if you have a project, how do you apply system design concepts or where should you apply them? But you know, the FAQs are not decided by me. Let's see what the answer is. I think this is overall a pretty bad answer uh, and let's see why. Define the scope and objectives of the project. This is a standard engineering practice. It's not really worth mentioning. It's not really system design here. You have a requirement for any engineering project. Break down the problem is not a part of system design. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm coming to the main problem with this kind of a question and this kind of an answer. It's like, this is an apple and I want to eat pie. Therefore, I will make apple pie. You are not looking at what the customer needs or what the real life problem is. It's more like I have a problem and I have a solution. How do I fit the solution into the problem? The next step also choose appropriate technologies. Like how the hell do you know what is an appropriate technology when you're just starting off with the project? So um, scrape all of this. This is stupid. Addressing scalability and reliability in the start is just going to waste a lot of your time. And uh, design and overall architecture also is, is most of the times a waste of your time. Okay. So what you want to do is probably just take the last bit, which is iterate and refine the design. What you're going to be looking at is not scale or reliability and everything. You're, you're going to be looking at code that you write should be readable. When someone else reads the code or you want to review this code as an open source project, people should be able to come and see what's going on. So the system design concepts that can be used when you're working on your own personal project in the start are almost entirely low level design principles writing good APIs, writing good contracts, having some documentation, maybe a single line explaining what this function does helps a lot. It has little to do with system design and more to do with engineering principles. Once there is a genuine consideration of scale, once there is a real consideration of reliability, that's when you add these additional problems to the existing problem. Unless it's a real world problem, you are not incentivized to solve it except for fun, except for intellectual stimulation. So my suggestion would be if you're going to make a project, do not think about how the system design of this project is going to look like. More importantly, think about what is the real world use case for this problem and this design will bubble up to the surface by itself. Okay, so how would I rate this answer? I would give it a zero. It's a it's got a lot of points over there without having any backing logic. And the last paragraph is a disclaimer. So again, it's just you read that and your life gets wasted. This is the lowest score I have given chat GPT. It goes to show that maybe if you tweak answers a little bit, like when you talk about system design and talk about projects, the bot probably doesn't understand the context that is required to answer these questions. So I still have my job as a YouTuber to explain these concepts uh, in a human way. That's good.